Hey guys, Namaste. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Twitter Profi. Today we are going to add multimedia in our web page. Like we are going to add videos, audios in our web page. So before we start, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe our YouTube channel and press the bell button near to it that you can be notified whenever we uploaded a new videos. So let's start today's session. For adding audio clip in our web page, we have one tag audio in HTML5. For this, place your cursor where you want the audio clip in your web page. If you want your audio clip just after this first paragraph, then after this paragraph, just add a tag audio and on our first starting tag we will give the attribute src for source of our audio clip and we know that before adding any objects audio video images or anything else we need to copy that file into our main website folder so i already have one entire mp3 and audio clip in my website and this audio clip and our multimedia file is in the same location that's why i'm just going to give the name and the extension of this audio clip entire dot mp3 after then, in between of this audio tag, we can give some messages if there is something problem to loading this audio. For example, your browser not supporting audio tag. So this text will be only seen in our web page whenever our audio tag is not supported by the browser. And then we have to give one another attribute to display the controls for playing our audio clip. For this, we have an attribute called controls. And in the value of this control, we are not giving any values on this. So just delete this. Just we give the control attributes on our audio without any values and save it now check it in our browser now we have one audio clip with its playing and volume controls controls to play and pause and change the volume level of our audio clip. Similarly, we have another attribute called loop. And in this also we are not giving any value, so just type loop as an attribute in our audio tag. Now save it and let's check in our browser. This attribute loop works whenever our audio clip and then it auto restart from the starting let's check it we can see it started again from the starting in this way we can add videos in our web page too for this we have another tag video and same as audio we will give the source of our video by using src tag and give the video clip address on the value of this src we have already copied one video in our folder and we gave the name s5 so i'm just going to give the name and the extension of this video clip in our video tag s5 dot mp4 and for controlling our video we need controls so just add control attribute and let's 
check it in our browser. Now we can see we have a video which controls in our web page. But the video size is very large because we did not define any height and width of our video so it takes its original size. To change the height and weight of our video, we can just add width height attributes in our video tab. So I'm just going to add width and give it 640 pixels. And I'm not going to give height because after giving the width value, HTML automatically generates the height of the video according to its ratio. Now let's check in our browser. Now we can see our video with 640 pixel of width is ready to play in our web page. Now we can play just click on this play button. In this way we can use the controls panel of this video to control our video playing in our web page. And same as on audio we can give loop on our video too that makes if video playing ends it automatically restart from the starting that's all for today we will come back soon with new interesting and informative videos until then take care and goodbye